Today, we're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your JVC Complete Rework System for optimal performance. We're gonna explain how to connect the different parts of your setup, including tools, cables, stands, and stations. First things first, plug in the power cord into your DD. This is the heartbeat of your setup, so make sure it's securely connected. Now, let's move on to step 2. Plug the stand cable into port 1 on your DD. Next up is step 3. Connect the other end of the stand cable into DRS stand. Moving along to step 4, leave DR560 on its stand and connect the tool cable. The suction cable of DR560 will be assembled later on. Now, let's shift our focus to step 5. Plug the stand cable into port 2 on DD. Connect the other end of the stand cable into IDS stand for step 6. Step 7 involves leaving T245 on its stand and connecting the tool cable. This precision tool is a key player in your tech arsenal, so ensure a solid connection. Let's introduce MSE in Step 8. Place it on top of DD for optimal performance and seamless integration. In Step 9, plug the module cable into the peripherals port. Connect the other end of the module cable into the import of MSE for step 10. Moving forward to step 11, bring back the suction cable of DR560 and assemble the suction filter. Assemble the end of the suction cable onto the suction connection of MSE. Now, in step 13, plug in the power cord into JDS key. Plug JDS stand cable into the stand connector on JDSE. Step 15 involves plugging in the thermocouple into GDC. Leave JDT on its stand in step 16 and connect the tool cable into JDSE. Last but not least, in step 17, assemble pick and place into JTSE. Congratulations! You've successfully set up your JBC Complete Rework System Equipment for peak performance.